y'all it's jasmine again back again with another video how have my lovelies been doing i hope you all have been doing well and having a great blessed week um a little update as you can see my hair is like curly because i washed it i'm taking a break from heat it's not going to be straightened out probably for like a month i'll get i get braids next month in june so until then this is how my hair is gonna be um yeah so let's get into today's video i'm gonna start off with the affirmations of course like always and then the devotional and prayer so today's affirmation from words that work by melinda williams this one says the daily I am. I am housed with the rich su substance of God. Say it with me, y'all. I am housed with the rich substance of God. I am housed with the rich substance of God. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now we're going to say an affirmation from Layla Moon's book, 365. Powerful positive affirmations for black women. We're gonna read it from chapter four, 60 affirmations for attracting success. Cause I know we all wanna be successful. And since this video is all about being resilient, when you're resilient, you can and will be successful. So let's go to that, page 34. Success means different things to different people. Just remember, success does not mean total perfection or the absence of challenges. Like I said, being resilient, you'll always have challenges um, when there is success to get to the top. But at the end of the day, when you are in a space where you have a mental balance, financial abundance, and strong alliances, it's safe to say that you are successful. I love that. And if you follow my Instagram, I talk a lot about like my personal challenges and struggles that I have had as far as like mental balance and overcoming things that I've dealt with and some of my successes now. So definitely, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at it's Jasmine Smith for some tips and to help you out. I am attracting wealth and abundance into my life. Say it with me two more times. I am attracting wealth and abundance into my life. I am attracting wealth and abundance into my life. Now, of course, is the devotional from Jesus Calling. Let's go to today's date. Okay. For today, it says, You cannot serve two masters. If I am truly your master, you will desire to please me above all others. If pleasing people is your goal, you will be enslaved to them. People can be harsh task masters when you give them this power over you. If I am the master of your life, I will also be your very first love. Your serving me is rooted and grounded in my vast unconditional love for you. The lower you bow down before me, the higher I lift you up and into an intimate relationship with me. The joy of living in my presence outshines all other pleasures. I want you to reflect my joyous light by living in increasing intimacy with me. No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Mm, that's powerful. That's from the book of Matthew. Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. From the book of Revelation, from Ephesians, it says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that you being rooted and established in love. And from Psalms, you have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Wow, that was a powerful word. Comment below if you needed to hear that message today and if it resonated with you. Now I'll say a quick prayer and then we'll get into the video. Let's go. Father God, I just want to say thank you for today. Thank you for my lovely subscribers, my lovelies, all of my followers. Help me to continue to build a community. Help me continue to build trust with my supporters and my followers and my lovelies. Help your light to shine on me and people can see you, God, reflected through me. 
And I just pray that everyone is well mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally in every way. I pray that for everyone's health and safety and well-being. And I just pray um, that you continue to bless me and help me to continue to bless others. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. Let's go. Hey, y'all. So, yeah, today's video is all about bouncing back and building resilience. Hey, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, it's all about resilience and being stronger and building from your challenges. And there's a quote that says, tough times never last, but tough people do. I personally have been through a lot of challenges, trials, and trauma, but I always am able to bounce back and grow stronger every time. And I like to say that I'm pretty resilient. When your back is against the wall and life is throwing all types of challenges and curves at you left and right, do you fold, do you crumble, break down, lose sight of yourself, or do you ride, ride above the wave? Does it make you come out on top even stronger? Resilience, that's an incredible ability to bounce back from life's challenges and come out even stronger. Today's video is all about exploring what resilience is, why it's important, and I'll share with you some practical tips to help you build your own resilience and come out even stronger. So let's dive into today's video about resilience. Let's start off with the definition. What is resilience? Resilience is the ability to adapt and recover from adversity, challenges, stress, or even setbacks. It's not about avoiding difficulties, but rather learning how to cope with them and grow as a person from the experience. Resilient people are better, better equipped to handle life's challenges and circumstances and are more likely to maintain a healthy, positive outlook on life, even in those tough times. Now, I'm going to talk to you all about the importance of being resilient and why you need resilience. Building resilience is essential to, and it helps us to navigate through life's challenges and ups and downs more efficiently and effectively. It can improve our mental health and well-being. Resilient individuals are more likely to persevere, learn from their experiences, and ultimately achieve and hit their goals. Now I'm gonna do some diving into tips for building your resilience. Here are some practical ways for building resilience into your life. Number one, to you need to develop strong support system and network. Surround yourself with positive, supportive people who can offer you some encouragement and advice during those hard, tough times. Number two, embrace change and challenges. Accept that change is a natural part of life. There's no getting around change. Things constantly will change in your life and you have to learn to adapt to new situations with flexibility and an open mind. Number three, practice self-compassion. Be kind, gentle, and loving and caring with yourself. I can't stress this enough. Recognize that everyone faces challenges. No one is perfect. Treat yourself with the same understanding and empathy that you would treat and give to a best friend. Number four, set realistic realization goals. Break your goals into smaller, manageable goals and steps to celebrate your progress and wins along the way. Number five, cultivate a positive mindset and outlook on life. Focus on your strengths and accomplishments. Don't focus on the weaknesses. And practice gratitude. Think positively. Look for the good things in life. For me, I journal what I'm grateful for and thankful for every night before I go to sleep, and it helps a lot. Number six, learn from your past experiences. Reflect on those past challenges and identify the lessons that you've learned from them that can help you grow and mold yourself and become a better overall person and think about how you would handle your future obstacles and circumstances. When you're feeling down and overwhelmed, something that can help you to be resilient is to actually have a toolbox of activities, hobbies, things that you love to do. For example, for me, that's dancing around like no one's watching, singing, working out, coloring, painting, cooking, and many more. And if you're a Christian like me, as a Christian, faith is no stronger to stranger to traumatic experiences and the reality of resilience. 
It is possible to say without question that us Christians are resilient people. In fact, our faith can often be tested. Resilience is a motivational force present within all human beings that prompts us to seek wisdom, fulfillment, and selflessness. And it helps us to be in harmony with inner spiritual power. When mobilized, resilience helps us to cope with adversity, challenges, and physical and psychological pain. And they help us recover and cope from abuse, violent situations, any type of trauma, and even grief and bereavement. And now more than ever, in times of a post-pandemic era, the question of our capacity for resilience as individuals and as a community is of great concern. Remember in the Bible, if you believe in Jesus, Jesus Christ told us that we would have tough times, but he also reminded us that he would always be there with us. If he's always with us, then he will help us. Be strong in him and seek peace by keeping your mind on him. We must stop dwelling on the bad things. Resilient Christians look past their troubles and put their mind on Christ the Lord and cast our fears in the Lord. When our mind is set on Christ, we will have joy in those times of trouble. In Christ, we find peace and comfort and strength. We know that our hardships in life are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. As believers, believers who are resilient never stop losing faith and they never stop trusting in God, even when things do not go our way. Through the storms, we continue to serve the Lord and honor his name and word before all else and above others. People look on and wonder, how can God still serve joyfully after all of the trials that we face? It's because love never gives up. God never gives up on us, and we are to never give up on God. Always try to remember these quotes as well to help you out through tough times. Scars remind us where we've been. They don't have to dictate where we're going. You never know how strong you are until being strong is your only choice. It's hard to be, it's hard to be the person who never gives up. Remember, building resilience is a lifelong journey. It's not an overnight thing. And it's never too late to try and start. By incorporating these tips into your daily life, you'll be better equipped to handle every life's circumstances and life's challenges. You'll come out stronger on the other side. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you found this video and topic helpful and if you enjoyed it, please, please like the video and comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Like I said, I hope it was helpful and valuable for you on how to be more resilient and not hard on yourself. Please comment down below what you would love to see me talk about next or what type of videos that you actually like watching. This channel is all for you and so I'm here to help you. Please let me know. I love feedback. Please, please, please share my channel and this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend about me, Jasmine. It's really helpful and I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of all of my next videos. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. I'm rooting for you, sis. Sending you peace and love. Mwah. Thank you.